The Bluebell Have you ever heard a strange story or myth about a flower? Did you wonder if the story were true? Emma took Jessie's hand and led her to the edge of the woods. Shall we take the shortcut? Emma asked her little sister. Shall we walk through the bluebells? Jessie was surprised. Emma never wanted to take the shortcut at this time of year. The shortcut that wound through purple spring flowers was scary. But what about the invisible fairies that hide in the bluebells? Jessie asked. Please, Jessie, Emma pleaded. I'm cold, and the shortcut is so much quicker. Jessie remembered the story she had heard about the bluebells. No flower is as magnificent as the bluebell. But beware, if you disturb these purple flowers, they will ring like bells to summon the fairies. The fairies will gather and cast their spells upon you. Jessie wasn't sure if the story was true, but what if it was? We won't disturb the bluebells if we stay on the path, Emma called as she hurried ahead. Just be careful, be very careful. Jessie followed, moving slowly and gently along the path so as not to disturb the lovely lavender flowers. Emma was far ahead now, and Jessie was alone. She paused and listened. The woods were silent. There was no sound at all. No footsteps, no wind, no bluebells ringing. The flowers spread out around her surrounding the bushes and trees. Yes, Jessie whispered to herself, no flower is as magnificent as the bluebell. Suddenly, she stumbled and stepped backward. She almost fell, but she caught herself and spun around, frightened. Beside the path, a tiny flower, the most magnificent bluebell of all, was shaking. Jessie leaned down. Oh, dear, she said nervously. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I was just tiptoeing home, and I must have bumped you. Please stop shaking. Oh, look at the way your lovely petals hang down like bells. See how they curve up at the ends? I will name you Magnificent Flower. Oh, Magnificent Flower, you are too pretty to be evil. Please don't summon the others. Please don't cast a spell on me. I really am sorry. Oh, please. Jessie leaned closer and listened. The tiny bluebell trembled, but it made no sound. No crying or sighing. No moaning or groaning. Jessie was about to turn back when the strangest thing happened. A gust of wind, small at first, shook the flower then blew harder and harder still until all the bluebells in the woods were shivering and trembling and shaking and blowing. Jessie listened. I'm being silly, she thought. It's just a story. It's a pretend myth like all those other myths about plants and the stars and animals. There's no such thing as invisible fairies casting spells. The woods were dark now. Quivering shadows came together and moved apart as branches creaked above. Lightning, followed by claps of thunder, lit up the carpet of bluebells, then zipped away as darkness returned. Jessie waited and wondered. Were the fairies hurrying to come and think of a spell to cast upon her? What would the spell be? Please, magnificent flower, Jessie whispered, please help me. Jessie looked up at the dark sky. A clap of thunder surprised her, and she jumped. When she landed, she bumped into another bluebell, which was shaking. She couldn't believe her bad luck. As she was apologizing to the bluebell, she noticed that the storm was fading. The sky was getting lighter. The lightning and thunder had stopped almost as quickly as it had started. She could even see the sun peeking out from behind the clouds. Jessie looked around her. 
there were no fairies anywhere. She looked at the bluebells, which still looked as magnificent as ever. Just then, she heard Emma calling her. As she started walking on the path, she began to wonder, Why didn't the fairies come? Are fairies real? Was that thunderstorm just a coincidence? Jessie decided it was all just a myth. She told Emma the entire story, and they agreed that they didn't believe in fairies or the myth about bluebells. Even though there's no such thing as fairies, let's stay on the path, said Jessie. We don't want to step on the bluebells. Bluebells really are the most magnificent flowers.